So vertex instancing is pretty cool. I can, you know, modify one object and wherever I have a vertex on another object, I can have it instance per vertex. So to do this, um, all you gotta do is make your first object. So we can do a circle, go into edit mode. Uh, we can hit cube, uh, add a cone if we want, whatever we want really. And now let's create the object we want to instance. So shift A, mesh cube, and then in edit mode, I'm just gonna scale it down and then add a UV sphere, put that on top. Perfect, that's the object we're going to instance. So with this selected, we wanna select our, um, you know, this object here with shift. So it makes it the active object. So now I have both of them selected. Press control P and set parent to object. Then now that I've done that, this object is now the child of this. So now this object can um, access this object's data and use it how we want. So we're gonna use that to instance, right? So if I go over here to my object properties tab and go down to instancing and hit vertices, now it's gonna um, instance on every vertex. Uh, we have a handy little option here, align to vertex normal. If we press that, it's going to you know, align to every vertex normal. So if we go into edit mode, I'm just gonna hit none for now. The vertex normal you can view by going down here and hitting this button down here, display vertex normals. We're seeing this blue line and that indicates the, uh, the normal direction. So now I'm just gonna turn that off now and turn this back on. So let's say that we want to make, you know, we have everything that we want. We want to make it actual geometry now. So we just have this object selected, press object, and we go to apply, make instances real. So now we have all of these instances, perfect. Um, but if I, you know, select one, they're all instances. So this is the same thing if, as pressing Alt D as opposed to Shift D. So it duplicates it, but it makes an instance of it. So that's Alt D and Shift D is this. So if I edit that, you know, maybe we want them all to be separate. And if that's the case, then what we can do is uh, if we if we just select one of these, we can select all of the uh, instances, the linked linked instances by pressing Shift L, and it's going to ask us to select linked object data. So that's what we want. So it's going to select everything that has the same object data. Now what we can do is go up to Object. Uh, relations um, and then we want to do make single user object and data so now once we press that we're we are uh, you know, if we just select one this is its own thing we can edit that this way so now they're all just they're separate things they're not they're not getting the mesh data from you know just one one mesh one mesh data uh, I don't know what you call it not file but one mesh one mesh data group thing so anyway there's that and uh if you want a cool uh application for this you can actually use this to make a radial array so if i make a circle again and i just add a cube for here um for this example if i press my circle and i select one of these points and press ctrl i and hit x delete vertices now I only have one point, perfect. So now I'll go back into object mode and I want to add a screw modifier. Now with the screw modifier, I can change the steps value and we're gonna have that instance on every single point. So remember again, we select this and then we select this. So select that, shift select that and we want to press control P, set parent to object and then uh, up here, we want to press instancing ver vertices, align to vertex normal. And now we have a better radial array than the array modifiers radial array. Now we can say, okay, I want exactly 12 and I don't want to have to calculate the distance between everything with an empty. I wish Blender would add this and it probably won't be long before they do. But uh, yeah, an easy, easy radial array right here. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful. Uh, if so, go ahead and like that video as they do on YouTube. Ha! Huh. I sound like an old geezer now. Anyway, thanks for your time. Consider subscribing and I'll see you later.